but it's about shakies and we do exactly this animation you see here so uh, some boxes are moving in a nice way to a text and this is exactly what we do so i don't want to waste your time let's get right started find new general i put on my screencast keys so you can see what i'm typing here let's add a cube let's go to edit mode let's subdivide and we subdivide by five and here we add statistics and you see we have 218 vertices we move this box out of the way and we add a text and we change the text we rotate it x-axis by 90 degrees we rotate z-axis by 90 degrees we go to text options properties whatever you call it and we do center we size it up and in geometry we gave it some extrusion then we go to object convert to mesh and you see we have a mesh now we add to this mesh a modifier which is a remesh modifier we take sharp we uncheck the remove disconnected and we put it up so we can see something and then we apply we check our mesh and we are happy because it's looking great we go to the top view we hit toggle x way we choose half of the vertices and we delete half of the vertices and we untoggle x way we see we have a nice text here and that's what we want now we add to our nice looking cube here a particle system and this particle system gets 218 particles and we end frame one and life lifetime to 500 so now you we got this you can see if you start it it falls down that's what we don't want we want the physics to be keyed next we do the same to our text we add a particle system but we change it to our first particle settings then we add another mesh we call it cone and we move it up here and we add a particle system and we take again the first particle settings what we do now here we go to relations what we do here is we add and we choose and we see we have a bad naming so we change this cube to cube emitter we change this text to text emitter we change the cone to and that's why i choose cone that was really clever because i just now only have to write controller because controller is what we want controller and now we go we add here and we take our cube emitter then we choose our next target which is a text emitter and then we choose again our cube emitter what it does it just take this particle system and move the particles to this particle system so from the cube to the text to the cube again so let's get started and you see yes that's what we want that's what i like that's already looking good but we still have some things to do don't waste our time let's add another cube and let's move it out of the way too this is what our rendering object is for our particle system so we go to our particle system we go to render settings and we say hello yes object and we say instance object and we say and you see we didn't name it good so this cube is a cube this is right but we see it we don't need that information but we want the information yes this is our particle so we go again in our cone we tap on particle settings physics not physics render and we render as and you see a particle yes now we have cubes this is sexy now here cube emitter we want 
field is of course white, but the source should be not faces but vertices. That's still looking kind of random, we don't want that. So we do turn the size a little bit up so let's that it's good looking good. And you see, yes, it's looking good. Now I don't understand our cube emitter has, and he said it, 226, oops, wrong number, 226. Okay, now what we want is, we want to see everything again. By the way, if you know how to unhide Shift H, you can tell me tell me in the comment how it works. Because if I do Shift H, everything hides except what I see. Yeah, of course I could tap Control Z to make it to take the change back. Okay, now you see we have a little bit weird uh, thing here because they are a little bit rotated. That's no problem at all. We go to velocity, and yes, you guessed it. It happens you or no nobody guessed it but then it happens watch it now and they are good they are good to go so vertices we have vertices and we have but they are still not all filled water oh, i'm such an idiot i'm i'm sorry 226 you have to take out 20 now you see everything is filled perfectly yeah that's what we want now if we now make this invisible and this invisible and you see our animation is already exactly doing what we want so basically this is but nope it's not because you see this looks not really good why because the vertices are not perfectly distributed to the text now comes the hard part it's not funny but you have to do it if anybody knows a better way just tell me I don't know a better way so you have to choose the vertices in that way that the text is looking best and it should have the same number of vertices as the cube has and the cube has as we know and I already forget because my memory is a memory of a mouse so i have to look up it again and i say cube emitter and i say shift h and 226 yeah okay back and i go to text and shift h okay i have to delete a lot of them okay so i try to delete until i have 226 and because we don't care about geometry, we can just delete this here. That's no problem because it's still looking good. And uh, so we just delete the double ones. We don't need them. X. X. And we are. We are getting closer. Okay, now we need this ones. And this ones. And we move because we want to nice E this up a little bit. And now we choose this here. And we delete this here. And we can, of course, delete this. We move this a little bit to the side. And also this a little bit to the side. These ones here, and we delete these ones. And you see, we are getting close, that's good. So we need more vertices, and yeah, that's still readable. And we can delete this outside here. And what else can we delete? Yes, no, 
inside we do it inside right yes yes we do I always forget the key for the shortest pass Getting close. Maybe there's a little bit nicer. And this. And this. And that. And that. Yep, I do. And then we move this down. And it looks a little bit. So, 10 more. Then we make it. one and we have yes now we have exactly the number and you see it's filling up nicely now we do some housekeeping I would say um, so we try to look from the front and we move some vertices to make it look nice by the way a good shortcut control spacebar and you get the full size which is pretty nice because you see a lot. So now let's move or kill some vertices, whatever you like, whatever you want. We just do it. So chaka and chaka and delete. And we delete these doubles here. here and then we just connect here and subdivision so we have one more of course we move this to the side because it's looking better of course we move this to the side and yeah and of course we delete these ones because they are double the arms now really looking like shit. Okay, we kill that inside vertices here. Same we do here because we don't want that. And then we just do FS and move it a little bit outside kill that lonely vertices there because we don't like lonely we want happy little vertices and we do a subdivision here and we move it here and of course yeah why not we do yeah some subdivisions oh that's nice that's good that's great that's awesome so let's put it here because we have to go up to 1226 again as you remember so now we can waste our vertices here like hell so let's waste it we have lots of them so still 26 to go let's see where we are yeah why not we're in the total row come on let's do it dang subdivide 204 same to the e why not check out one check out two and subdivide so 13 okay let's now make these are uh, nicer which is really horrible looking so longer leg long legs are good long legs are sexy yes i know okay now a little bit roundness here yes it looks good i like it i like it. okay and still 12 to go so we give the uh, some oops of course
also one key and subdivide and three to go just three okay there's a little bit gap here so we just give it another subdivision here five to go let me see what it looks like five we still have five really i don't like the end to be honest so let's move it down g move it up g and yes that's how an end should look like so we still have yeah that's too close there we go back to the one view and oops we have too much now let me check that i'm not sure how much was the cube event? do you know it i don't know because you know my brain is like two two six uh, that's that's what i get two two six no we got too too much <laughs> two two six so mathematics six we need six to be deleted this is no problem for me one two oops wrong key again one what really one two three four five six delete whatever yeah looks good uh what does not look good is here this is bad and this so we because we are so great citizens we move it to the side so that the distance is a bit more so you can much better we look at this now this distance is too much so we move this by the side yeah i know i know it's too perfect now but what shall i say do you like vr no i don't like it either so let's change that so it's a big big messy round in here yeah that's that's sexy that's a sexy arm yeah i go with that i am satisfied i know you wouldn't believe but i am satisfied now let's now turn this off and let's now let's see our controller and watch and enjoy this great animation what we do now is giving this sexy animation materials so first of all i think the cube is not big enough so let's go to the emitter and sizes up yeah looks better now now we go to when that view and what we do here is yes it sounds like advertising but it isn't because first of all the easy hdri add-on is for free so they cannot pay anyone to make advertising for that and i really say to you i swear i do not get any money from them and i do not uh, have any relationship to them it's just a great add-on to uh, get a nice color in your project without hard work and who likes hard work nobody nobody wants to do hard work so let's give it a material and as you saw in the animation we have this shiny great material how do we get that well put the metallic up put the roughness down and watch it and now we chaka 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 and we let's get started yeah looks good what we still have to do is we have to put on camera something like this and of course camera should show the whole animation and that we can check oh 
can see the cone is wide in the way it put it out. And yeah, and frame one is here, frame is there, so we can still zoom in a little bit. Still zoom a little bit. And a little bit more to the side. And I think that looks great. So I hope you, I didn't promise you too much because it's of course looking a little bit different to my animation I showed you. Uh, oh, it's not going back. Did you see this? That's not good. I promised you it would go back. And this is because our particles have a lifetime of 500, but this year it doesn't have 500. So let's check this out. This way it looks a little bit better and watch it. Boom, it goes to Blender, which is an amazing tool as we all know. And now it goes back. And this was the tutorial about shape keys. I hope you learned something. I hope you had some fun. And 